What is going on everyone? This is Ross here and welcome to a very highly requested team here today. Um, it's actually I can actually make this team now because the season's obviously over and a lot of things have been announced so I can get away with it. Before we start the video it'd be awesome if you guys could hit 2,500 likes before midnight. That would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's down below obviously you guys know that shit. Uh, I'm not asking you to but it would be. It would be pretty sick and if you guys want to buy coins check out Fuckcoin Emporium. Link in the description and use the code ROSSYHD for 5% off and uh, coins are on all time cheap at the minute so if you're gonna do it you might as well just do it so i've spent ages trying to make this team absolutely ages hours probably i'm um, trying to find the perfect players in the perfect team um there's a quite a few players i could have added to this team like di natale um cambiasso samuel um diego milito and stuff like that but they actually haven't officially um announced retirement they've just announced they're leaving their clubs etc etc uh well di natale's actually signed another year's contract that a lot of you don't know i think so um so this seems pretty interesting pretty difficult it's gonna be well it's gonna be definitely difficult to play with shit now in goal rogerio seni now this guy scored like over 100 goals as a goalkeeper um he was the free kick taker he was the penalty kick taker and um he's probably I don't know if he's one of the most recognised goalkeepers in the world, but for me, he's everyone knows of him, especially in the FIFA industry and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of what, I don't know if the older generation has heard of him as much, but he scored over 100 goals for his club, and I don't know if a keeper has ever done that before. So he could be the first of his kind. So it's a big deal if he's retiring because it means. He's leaving a history and a record behind him. This one is very interesting. So Rory Delap, uh, you guys may not know, he plays with Burton Albion now in League 2. Um, very, very famous for his long throw-ins. I think he sort of started the trend off from Stoke. And a lot of players do it these days, I know. But um, I think he started off as one of the, you know, taking long throw-ins as if it's a corner, you know. He was the one that sort of started that trend. So he's retiring, so... He sort of started a, um, I know he's, I'm not, I'm, I'm repeating myself here saying he started it, but he sort of started a, um, not, what's the, what's the word? Trend. I'm just going to say trend and save the hassle. He started a trend. So, Poyol, this guy's a Barcelona legend, recently announced his retirement. As you guys can tell by the thumbnail as well, I've got some of these players' older cards on the, um, on the front and, um, obviously... They are high ratings and stuff like that, so they're pretty awesome. Um, a few of the players may not be in there or may be in there. I've put um, I put one or two in the fun now. I'm unsure are going to retire or not, but I've left them out of the team just in case they're not going to. Um, but Poyal, Barcelona legend. Now I think this guy is he's done he's had an incredible career. I don't really need to say it, do I? And uh, recently he announced his retirement, which is pretty sad. But um, you know, Spain international and shit, World Cups and all that. Ugh. What can you say? What can you say? Nesta and FIFA 12 had an 85 rated centre back card. Whoa, shitting out. Um, so that's pretty awesome. He had a big, big career. Um, obviously AC Milan and obviously internationally with uh, Italy and stuff. Now, well, he used to play for Montreal, Impact and MLS, and obviously now he's retired. But he's a 76 rated. But like I say, 85 in FIFA 12. Um, he's a legend. I know. If, I think to, to Italians, he's definitely a legend. Um, the sort of same sort of like era and sort of level as Cannavaro maybe that might be a bit controversial don't shoot me down there Clarence Sadoff who went into a bit of managerian um managerial um career sorry at Inter AC Milan <laughs> fuck me I don't want to say that wrong do I killed or some shit so Sadoff he's out in the World Cup uh, presenting for BBC or ITV at the minute with uh, Thierry Henry and stuff which is pretty awesome he's got a good uh philosophy of football he played in the um Soccer Raid recently as well, Soccer Raid, and obviously uh, managerial stuff coming up for him, but he ended his career, uh, Liga do Brazil, which is pretty awesome, but obviously he had career AC Milan and stuff, which are pretty big, I remember him destroying Man United a few times, talking to Man United, we've got Park Jisung, went to QPR and then he went on loan to PSV, he's recently announced his retirement due to injuries and stuff like that, um, he's a very, like I say, in South Korea, or Korean Republic, sorry, not South, um, he's like a legend. He because you know, you know, just a big. It was a big deal for them to get a player to play for Manchester United and stuff. And obviously, um, he, he was a big game player. Like he turned up against Arsenal and stuff like that. What the hell? Um, like, teams like that. He was a big game player. Next up, Craig Bellamy. Now this guy, he's been at Manchester City. Um, obviously, we've had some big derby days, United versus City. He's been at Liverpool, and now he's uh, finished his career back in his homeland of Wales and Cardiff. So he links up with uh, Ryan Giggs, off I'm going to talk about next. But um, he was a very, very fast and controversial player back in his day. 
Um, liked to get in a little scuffle, liked to get in a little argument. He had a good, a good mouth on him. Um, but, you know, it's all fun and jokes. He's, he was actually a decent player. He was, like I say, very, very fast back in the day. The, the stats there don't really show up. He's about 40 odd million now um, in age. So, obviously, his uh, pace is going to come down. But linking up there with Ryan Giggs, obviously, do I need, do I need to say anything really? This guy's been at Man United for like decades and shit. Um, obviously, he had a very important role in the last season under David Moyes. He was a, a player and assistant manager or coach, if you like. And um, and obviously, David Moyes got sacked and he got put into interim manager. So that was a big step. He had a player and manager at Manchester United this season um, to one of the all-time greats of Man United and one of the legends. Um, and one, of our, one of our most capped, if not most capped players. I actually don't know the true um, defined stats on that, but I'm guessing he's our most capped player uh, for the top of my head. But legend, he's going to be the assistant manager next season as well. So don't forget, he's not slipping off the food chain. Zanetti, though, this guy, he really is. He really is a Serie A Inter, Inter Milan legend. Um, been at the club for donkey's years. Um, he's done some of the. The guy hasn't even aged. Can I just look at that picture? We'll go back to when he was like 17, 18. I might even put it on the screen for you guys. He hasn't even aged, and he's sadly saying goodbye to Inter Milan with a few other players. But this is the only one I think who's actually announced official retirement, I believe. Samuel Cambiasso, Diego Milito may move to other clubs. Um, Samuel Fiorentina, I think is that a done deal? I'm not sure there. But um, two legends, Zanetti and Giggs, are two fucking big legends in this team. Del Piero. Now, this one is a little bit 50-50, nifty-nifty. Um, I'm not 100% sure he has retired, but a few things like Wikipedia and a few other things say he has or is definitely considering it or, you know, some shit. But, um... For me, I think he's retiring according to what I've seen. Um, he's had, a, he's, he's uh, do I even need to say how old he is? But I do need to say how good a career he has had. I think he was in the soccer aid thing recently. Uh, for you British and UK people, um, it was played at Man United. It's a big game for charity. It's like England versus rest of the world. Obviously, he was in the rest of the world. Uh, but Del Piero internationally and uh, finish off his career pro probably in Australia and Kevin Phillips now this guy's not exactly done it majorly international for us like England he wasn't playing for England and scored like million goals and World Cups and stuff but this guy's pretty respected in football because um, like I say he's like 41 now um, he's coming up 41 he's 40 and uh, he's recently just retired he's been at a lot of clubs and scored a lot of goals important goals as well like uh, playoff finals and stuff like that I remember a lot of them so this is interesting this is why he's deemed and you know, respected and uh, so in the Premier League season, he was the top scorer in 1999 to 2000 season with 30 goals for Sunderland, a tally which won him the European Golden Shoe. He remains the only Englishman to win the trophy. So that's pretty big deal. Um, it's Sunderland, he's the highest goal scorer, and he's the only Englishman to win that tr certain trophy in Europe. Um, so that's one of the reasons why he's deemed and uh, very well deemed a legend sort of thing and a very respected member of. Uh, the footballing community if you like so what i'm going to do now is try and go into a game try and win with this team it's going to be fucking hard because these players are like 35 onwards so the pace is not going to be great craig bellamy is probably my quickest player um del piero is 40 pace up top this is hard this is hard all right then can my oldies beat a 4 one 2 and 2 french team all oh, no premier league yaya Toure <clears throat> company Oh my god, this is a good team. David Luiz company at the back. That is some fucking strength from Torres there. Nazri Benzema. Willian is a great player as well. This is hard. This is shitting hard. Oh my god, G-Sung Park. It's a goal. It's a goal! Get it in! Park, you son. That's the shit I like. G-Sung Park, the man United boy, the legend. He's uh, just doing it for me. Guys, do any of you remember a video I made? I can't remember it. But Jason Park was in the team and he ended up banging like three goals and he was absolutely man the match and I was so impressed with him. And it's this I don't know what video it is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. But the same thing still applies. The guy is great on this game. It really is. Get in there. So we've had a great first half. We're one nil up against a pretty well, not even pretty. It's a very, very strong Premier League team in French top. I got the possession, more shots, and the goals. Just how it is deserved. Come on. Oh, ah. Nasri with the head. Didn't even make it to the World Cup. He's still getting head somehow. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. You've dared it as well, you little prick. Oh my god, the head is strong. My old boys can't even get ahead at this age. Oh, stage. Sorry, fuck. 
This is a joke of headers, man. This is... Like, you guys probably saying, oh, karma this, karma that, fucking hell. But, nah, this is... My guys, they don't deserve this. They just want to retire in peace. So, I've lost the game. But, as you guys can tell from the halftime stats, I wasn't actually outplayed. FIFA 14 being FIFA 14, um... And that's the reason I lost. I wasn't the worst player. Um, I was probably the better player, to be honest. But when you got big boys, fast boys and stuff, the score headers and stuff. and That's what's going to win you the games, I'm afraid. I, You guys know I know that shit. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this little team, squad builder, whatever you want to call it. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a like down below. 2,500 likes would be amazing. Everything you need is in the description. I'm out. I don't know what, what the shit is going on now with the controller. But I'm out. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Peace.